I got you. Nah, I ain't never said I hate the well, ball. Oh, thank God, <laughs> man. I'm not, a, I'm, not a, I'm not a, hey, yo, I'm not a diehard fan, but yeah, okay. I don't hate him. Man, why y'all didn't tell me that he's what was there? Why y'all didn't tell me you on the day? I was lying. I buddy of my place for him. Nate, uh, first of all, I, I'm sure you heard what we were talking about. Love watching you fight. You're a fighter's fighter. This is a big one for you, man. You're, you're, you're an underdog in this one. And I'm just wondering if, if you heard Dan Ige say during the week that he wants to take care of things quickly and that's what he expects to happen. Is there a final message that you have for Dan Ige before we get to Saturday? Yeah, man, I put the dog in the underdog. If I'm an underdog, <laughs> it's for a reason, man. Uh, I'm made for this lifestyle. Like I just heard y'all saying, I love to fight. I love to fight night. I love to being in the cage. I just love it all. And we're going to see real quick. It's a case of be careful what you wish for or you're going to get what you want. How much do you lean on your track background in training? I heard you reference Paul Felder. Obviously, he's you know on his way to becoming a world-class triathlete. I don't think he could hang with you around the track, by the way. But how much do you nah, lean on that training? I don't think I lean on it as much as... I lean on the reason why I was good at it. I just said uh, I can go hard for a long time. So uh, it matched up well with when I ran the 800, and it's going to match up well come uh, fight every fight night. I know that uh, when, it's time to, when it's time to dig deep and you're pushing in something extreme like that, you have two choices, gear up or gear down. And my style has never been geared down. It's always gear up. Yeah, Nate, you know, I, I love that you talk about that, right? Gear up or gear down. And to me, Two choices. you get to go out there, right? Yeah, you, you, you have an opportunity, especially in a fight when you start fighting these elite guys and you start fighting the, the ranked guys in the division, it's going to get hard, right? Do you feel like that is an advantage that you will hold over most of these guys in the featherweight division is that mentality that you have that you know when you go out there, you are ready to just leave every single ounce of yourself in the octagon? Yeah, for sure. It's a, um, it's a feather in my cap. I know, like, you, you've you been training this kind of thing, so you know how tough it would be to run a half mile in under two minutes, and I know most of the division wouldn't be able to do that, and uh, I live that lifestyle. Hey, Nate, you did one of the hardest things I thought that any fighter could ever do, and that's to go over to Russia and become a champion. Yeah. And you was a champion in Russia. Can you draw from that experience and help you in situations like this? Yeah, man, I didn't take no easy roads. There's no shortcut to the UFC. I didn't win a lottery ticket. I wasn't no short notice fighter, man. I took the hard way, the long way. And it shows, man, when I'm in there in the fire, you could tell that I was born for that. I've been there. I've been 25 minutes. I've been 15 minutes hard. It's just... Uh, you know, I fought in the mountains of Ingushetia, four or 5,000 feet in the air. I've been in Moscow. I mean, I was built to take plane flights. And uh, go, so going across the seas or coming to uh, Canada, it's nothing new. Nate, yeah, you know, you Dan tried to suck up to you with the whole Tennessee thing. You did tell me you hate Tennessee volunteers, but it's okay. I'll let you <laughs> buy with it. But Nate the train. Nate the train. That's another thing we talked about, man. You said, D.C., train, throw baby. it out there. You know, Nate the Train, I'm trying to build this business. I'm trying to pop it off. How's the business Nate of Nate Landwehr? Are baby. you aware of how things are changing around you on the verge of what is your highest profile fight to date? Oh, oh yeah, man. I hear my catchphrases. They're getting put out there everywhere. This, Nate the Train in UFC, you know, my mama ain't raised. No, you know, just I got catchphrases for days, and uh, I got a good name, and uh, – it's all about winning for me. I go out there and put a performance that I know I can put on, and I'm going to be a, a star in that octagon. Nate the Train. That's my man. Nate the Train, north of the border, ready to get it done. Thanks for joining us, my man. Always good to talk to a fellow Tennessee guy. Appreciate that.